So in continuing to try to make healthy meal choices in terms of what I eat for both iftar and sahur during this holy month of Ramadan, I've decided to go very local today. Now, they do say that you know a local house of Fulani girl from Katsuna, when every once in a while she demands for Dunwaki, Dambunama and Fura. And here she is. I decided to go very, very, not just go local, I decided to go Katsuna local today. I just really, really wanted to eat something very, very traditional. Now, I love traditional house of food. I absolutely love it. The most traditional house of food is, I think, some of my favorite things to eat. So today I decided to go for what we call Dangwaki. It's actually beans, and they kind of put it, you know, kind of mix it together with some flour, and you boil it. You make it into little balls. You put the balls into boiling water. Of course, we, we it's actually ground beans. You mix with some flour and some ground baobab, which is, we call it in the house of kuka. And then um, you make little balls from it, and then you put it into boiling water. And, you know, they, they cook and then they rise up. And that's what makes, it turns out into these kind of semi-hard cooked balls of beans that, that are really nice. Um, they're not very tasty on their own. They're rather quite bland. But what we do is we add together with some salt. You put some salt in there and some pepper. And then we put some oil in there as well. This particular oil is just oil that I heated. But normally what I do when I'm eating dangwagi is to deep fry kind of strips of onion. And then I pour it onto the dangwagi. And then you have kind of over fried, almost burnt onion in there. It's really nice tasting. And I've got this um, pepper made by a very, very brilliant lady in um one of my, my great aunties in, in Katsuna, and, you know, from Rafindati to be, uh, to be specific, and she makes the, these special um, peppers for Dangwaki. I, I know I'm going to enjoy it. Dangwaki is one of the favorite things. There was a time when I was much younger, when I think I was literally addicted to Dangwaki, and I went for about two weeks non-stop eating only Dangwaki. And when I had my daughter, uh, Khadija, there was a time that I was trying to get her to like Oni and Waiki, but, you know, hey, she's half Katsuna, she's half Kano. So I think the Kano bit of her kind of resisted my overindulgence with the Waiki. But I really like it, and um, that's what I've chosen to have today. And because it's beans and there's quite a lot of it in here, I decided to still go local and add it with some Dambunama. Now this is, they call it, some, some, some of my English friends call it um, shredded meat. <laughs> Essentially that's what it is. So this Dambanama, what, what it is, is fried meat. You can make it also with fried chicken. I've got the fried chicken over there in the kitchen. And you know, they kind of shred it up. And it really tastes very nice. When we put some really nice garlic pepper on top of that. Um, when you're eating Dambunama, you find, you put it in your mouth, it's all kind of stringy. And as you continue to chew it, it turns into the consistency would be exactly the same as it would be if you were taking, you know, solid meat. And I really, really enjoy that. And I'm sure after my um, Omwaiki, I'm really going to enjoy the Dambunama. And of course, green green juice. We're not going to forget the green juice today. Today I've gone back to my favorite, my classic favorite, which is the vegetable-based one. So in here I've got blend of kale, I've got lettuce, I've got celery, I've got cucumber, and a very little bit of cabbage. So that makes up my green juice. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy that because it's really quite cold. You can, I don't know whether you can see it, but it's actually really, really cold. And of course, I've got my sparkling water, which is also very freezing. So this is what I'm going to have to break my fast. I will put all the ingredients in the, either in the info, info more box down below, or I'll put the links to where you can find the, the ingredients or the recipes from some of my other social media outlets. So because I'm going pure katsuna today, I'm going to stay with the theme, and for Sahur, I'm going to have this delectable cup, glass of Furadenono. 
Now, I know every state that you go to in northern Nigeria continues to claim that they have the best form of fura, but I beg to differ. If you really want to enjoy the experience of what Fulani, the Fulani um, drink of fura de nono, you've got to come to Katsuna. Katsuna has the absolute best fura. If you go to Daura, Daura in the northern part of Katsuna, they have really fantastically nice, delicious yogurt. Um, if you mix that with the fura, it's, it's really very nice. This particular fura was actually bought for me from Katsuna. Again, my auntie that makes um, the most delicious, um, uh, this ground pepper, she's the one who actually made the fura balls. And fura is wheat, essentially. They kind of grind it. They don't grind it, they kind of pound it and it becomes all kind of pounded together and they put it into like a ball. But the ones that they do in Katsuna, the ones that my auntie does, she puts with a lot of kind of really nice seasoning in there. She puts some herbs, so it gives it this fantastic aroma. And if you take it with Nono, especially Nono coming from Daura, is beautiful. It's, it's just amazing. I'm yet to come across one person that says, that they don't like furad and uno. The only thing with furad and uno is when you take furad and uno, all you want to do is find a nice bed with a nice AC and just go to sleep. So perhaps this will be good for me to take in the morning when I wake up at 4.30 for Sahur, after I finish saying my prayers. Um, well, before I, I'll probably wake up at 4.30, say some nafila, you know, perform some dua, and nafila, and I'll drink this just before I say my early morning prayer and then just fall back in my bed, put my AC on and go back to sleep. Fura is absolutely amazing. And because fura is quite um, rich on its own and because of the yogurt there, it's quite filling, it's incredibly filling and um, it's quite fattening on its own. I don't think I need to mix it with anything else. So I think for Sahur, I'll just settle for this big utensil. It's absolutely a huge cup, absolutely huge. A huge glass of fura. I've got a bit of sugar in there, not so much, because you know sometimes you put sugar in there, it takes away from the natural taste of the fura and the yogurt. But I've got um, a little bit of sugar in there, I'll put it back into the fridge. There's nothing better than a cold glass of fura. I'm really going to enjoy it. I'm going straight back to my roots today. My katsuna, my house of Fulani roots. I'm doing enwake, dambonama, green juice, which isn't too Nigerian. It's not even katsuna or Fulani or northern or anything for that matter. But everything else, with the exception of the green juice and the sparkling water is. So I'm doing traditional today. And, and this will be what I eat for iftar. And for Sahur today, I will put the ingredients, even for the Dumbun Nama, on all the other media um, outlets, social media outlets that I have. So others who would want to experiment in trying to make Dumbun Nama and how to season the meat before kind of pounding it to become into little shreds, I'll put all that down there and uh, the... Um, the that I like it as well for those who want to try it. I'm really going to have a lot of fun today and going back traditional and going to enjoy it as much as I always did when I was a little girl. So I wish you the best, a happy iftar. I'll just get back down to eating my iftar and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.